Hey, and welcome back to PeckPong, a channel where I talk about match reviews and things that I do to try to get better, as well as some things that maybe uh, would help you get better as well. Today we have a match review um, that I played at the Petty C. Wasserman Junior Tournament, which is one of the biggest junior tournaments in the country. And um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done my last match review, but we're back with another match review. So um, yeah, today I'm playing against a, a young man named Gabriel Perez. He's, um, from my understanding, part of the national team on Puerto Rico. Um, his rating is 24-14. Um, so he's, he's definitely a, a very good player. Um, and it was a lot of fun playing him because he plays uh, a lot like me, like my style. And um, during the match, we'd play some points, and then he, you know, he'd win a point uh, in a certain way. And I thought, well, that's how it feels to lose a point <laughs> against me because he was using some of the same strategies that I use. So uh, it was pretty cool to play him. Um, yeah, all right. So uh, let's just get into the match and uh, talk about um, his game style, strategy, and uh, some things I did to try to um, win the match. All right, so uh, first, let's talk about his game style. He's a two-wing looper, um, really good forehand counter loop. Like, like me, I like to counter loop with my forehand. Uh, his backhand is uh, very good. It's, uh, he has a strong backhand, and um, what I found was that when he played, he either did like a very strong backhand, or he did more of a consistent backhand. He wasn't really doing too much pressure backhands where the, you know, it was usually uh, on the spectrums of a very strong or not, not so strong. Um, more consistent, I should say. And uh, the serves he likes to use are a variety of side spin serves. Um, he uses the forehand uh, serve and he also likes to step around a lot with his forehand um, and get that counter loop if you flip the ball. So you have to watch out for that. And also he likes to su serve the scoop serve, which um, you know, can be a little bit deadly. If you miss the push, he can step over the table and make a, a very nice uh, forehand over the table. Another thing that he was really good at was playing wide forehands. Uh, so sometimes I'd play a good shot to his forehand and he would go really, really wide. Um, so that's definitely a skill that he has developed and uh, is definitely worthwhile for him to keep using because it's a, a point winner for sure. During the match, uh, I found that because we play similar styles, and I think I've talked about this before, uh, it's a bit of a one-way street. You know, Either one person is winning all the points or the other person is winning all the points. Um, so the swings in this match are pretty heavy um, due to the playing styles, I think, um, just because you know one person's really hot and then the other person's cold and then they try to change variations and then the other person uh, switches roles. My strategy in the match was to try to get the first attack um, in the form of a short push that was a little bit high or a, a push that would leak medium long or if he would just outright push it to save my backhand I would try to turn around a lot with my forehand and get that first opening loop. And a common theme in this tournament was that a lot of people couldn't deal with my heavy spin on my underspin loops. And so that's something I really focused on. Um, if the ball came medium long or long, I really just focused on less power and just focused on more placement and spin. And then just trying to get into the point and rally. I also used a fair amount of long serves because I felt like uh, because my forehand counter loop is so devastating or, you know, I win a lot of points with it. Um, that I can use the turnaround shot and get a lot of free points, um, so to speak. <clears throat> and what that also did, the long serves, was that it kind of weakened up their short returns. So that kind of opened up an opportunity for me to uh, maybe flip strong or uh, get that medium long loop that I talked about. <clears throat> Some serves that I like to use uh, were the dead, dead serve. And I found myself using this one quite a bit in this match. Um, more so than I normally do because I felt like he didn't really have an answer uh, to flip it very strong and I felt like sometimes the push he was a little bit shaky on the push so I used a lot of short dead serves primarily with my backhand to his short forehand and yeah I just kept kind of knocking on that door and trying to see if um, he would keep uh, giving me opportunities to uh, capitalize on those so yeah that's uh, pretty much all I have to really say on the tactics for this match um, 
I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of little other in intricacies, but uh, for the most part, I felt like um, the things I mentioned were the main primary sticking points that I really focused on. Um, I'd feel like this match was more mental than uh, than most because just the game styles, you had to really stay on top of it and understand that the swings are going to happen um, and then you're just going to kind of find your way and, and get on the winning streak again. <clears throat> but yeah, it was a lot of fun to play him. He's a great player. Um, definitely uh, look to see him keep improving. And um, yeah, so um, I'm going to be posting another match that I had, uh, a couple matches that I have had um, at this tournament. Uh, so keep an eye out for those. But yeah, that's all for, that I have to say. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.